Hey everyone, so I wanted to just pop on and give you guys an update. I know I've been getting absolutely horrible at doing my uploads and my videos. Um, it's just been stressful, busy at work, and i have usually tired by the time I get home. So, I am cycle day 19 or 20 today. I am round one post mis miscarriage on Clomid. This is my second cycle out after the DNC. So I got my first cycle about six weeks after the DNC and it was fine, wasn't a bad cycle. It was manageable, not too bad of cramping, not too heavy a flow. Hopefully ovulated day 16 or 17 and we did baby dance last month on cycle day 16. So after we didn't fall pregnant, I figured I don't want to waste time. I don't want to wait around, give it another three, four months and then go to the gynecologist. So I went back to the gyno and I asked for another round of Clomid. So he gave me a two-month prescription of Clomid for the 100 milligrams. I filled the one prescription for cycle day five to nine this time. So I did take the Clomid this cycle. Um, baby dancing, I don't know if we hit it right. I don't know if we timed it good enough. We did two days before I got the positive. The day after I got the positive, so I guess it would have been Saturday and Sunday that we, that we baby danced, so I'm a little leery whether or not we, we maximized on this cycle. I'm not really putting too much thought into this two week wait, just because I don't feel confident that that we had enough activity prior to and during my ovulation. So I'm just kind of waiting it out, see what happens next week, um, whether or not I get flow. So yeah, um, just been super busy with work, which is good. I've taken on assistant management position and duties, so haven't seen the pay raise for it all, which two months in and I haven't got my increase. So here I am still doing everything the manager should be doing, but for minimum wage. So that's really shoddy. Um, basement renter moved out. We are taking over the basement for the summer. I was really hoping to put central air in my house this summer as our summers here in Saskatchewan are pretty hot and fairly humid, but without that extra income, I really didn't want to fork out the three grand for central air. So we've decided to move down into the basement for the summer. So we haven't fully moved everything down or our big bed's still upstairs where I'm just sleeping on what was down here. It was a fully furnished basement suite, so there is a lot of stuff down here that we're going to be looking at liquidating just so that we can expand and take over the whole house. Um, definitely something that I want once we have baby. I don't really want to just have the main floor. I'd rather have the whole house to ourselves, but for right now, um, just kind of playing the waiting game. I'm not putting too much into this whole, this whole cycle. For some reason, I feel like next month's going to be the month. I don't know if that's just me trying to psych myself out or if there's a legitimate, a legitimate, um, <clears throat> case for that I'm not sure so yeah I just wanted to come on and do an update I know I've been very negligent with this I'm just 
I get home and I'm beat and I just want to go to sleep some days. I'm still getting up at 3.30 in the morning. I'm to work by 4.30, if not 5 o'clock, quarter to 5, somewhere in there. And I work every day until 1.30, but by the time I get home at 1.30, I'm usually pretty done. Just ready to have a nap or relax on the couch with the doggies. So, just, yeah, <laughs> try not to put too much thought into this cycle. Trying to stay calm, stay positive, but also not get my hopes up too much. We've been doing a lot of work out in the yard. We got a garden rototilled. I've got my planted veggies starting in the house until we can get them out into the yard. So doing a lot of work out there. We have a couple more projects that we want to do this summer. So we'll be working on that. It's going to be busy. My father is stock car racing this year. So that's um, <clears throat> usually two weekends a month. And it's three hours away from where he lives. Which he's two hours away from us. So... When we go down to watch him race, it's about five hours from here if we go with him and drive down to his house and then go in the semi with him. So probably end up doing that a couple times this summer. Got a couple camping trips planned. But other than that, just relax and enjoy. And I'm just really excited to see what the next week brings if not know that we can try again next month and maybe put a little more effort into it i was really hoping that we'd try a little bit harder this month but i can't <laughs> i have to spike him with viagra to get any more out of him he was just I don't know, just didn't have his game face on 100%. Um, we were both just tired coming into the weekend, so things just didn't progress the way they probably should have, but it is what it is, and all we can do is wait and see if it took this month. If not, there's next month I have... A refill on the Clomid if we need it, which kind of sucks because it's $80 per month that I take it. But, you know, if $160 means we end up pregnant, then it's $160 well spent. So I don't really mind even the price of the prescription because it is the fertility drug. I'm hoping to get on to my benefit plan at work either this month or next month so that'll help us with any kind of medical costs and any prescriptions any dental work or anything that we might need we both just did the whole new glasses thing which was expensive but <clears throat> it's over and done with and we know that that's out of the way now so we both have two sets of glasses so we are good for at least a year after baby so kind of planning ahead but anywho I'm gonna let y'all go I will hopefully do an update next week let you know where my cycle ends up if I get any good news or if I just get ant flow I'll, I'll do an update just let you guys know where I'm at We've got a couple of your girls following and paying attention to my story. So just want to keep you posted. I know I've been I've been negligent lately, but gonna try and be a little more diligent with it now that now that we are back into the trying to conceive a little bit more. I've had my first cycle post DNC and my body's regulated itself back to the twenty eight day cycle. And we are on the Clomid again, so hopefully we'll have some action. Hopefully we'll have some, hopefully good signs, but still just 
taking it easy for right now until anything shows. So, anywho, guys, take care. Good luck to all of you who are trying to conceive. I know the hypothyroidism does put a pretty big damper on everything and fertility wise. So, keep your heads up, stay in the game. There is hope out there for. For all of us who are trying to conceive and having problems. So try not to get too down. Try and stay positive. And all the best to you guys. Take care and we'll see you soon.